Also, fun <laughs> fact, this will be, uh, have, this will have meant, meant as well, I'm struggling with my words here, um, at WrestleMania, Undertaker will have wrestled every year for WWE since 1990. Five separate decades. 1990. And I, it's funny, I was thinking about it because I saw that stat come up and I remember all of a sudden, this flashback to a conversation I had with a friend of mine when I was at school, when The Undertaker came back in 2000, and he was doing the decade of destruction. And the big story there was like, oh yeah, cause it's gonna be his last year, because he's been doing this for so long now, that this will be the last time we're gonna get to see The Undertaker. That was 20 years ago. Yeah, you might say, it's remarkable he's back. It's remarkably still going. Yeah, five years ago it was. Now he's past it. Like, Brock can still go, but he gets, he, he, in the Rumble match, he got blown up, but he, he was out there for quite a while. He's got his five-minute match. Undertaker and Goldberg, like, Undertaker can't move. I find it embarrassing when I see him in the ring try and do anything now, even when it's as limited as I am going to choke some AJ Styles, which is mostly AJ Styles throwing himself in the air and hitting himself back down again. Goldberg didn't take any bumps from The Fiend, probably because he couldn't. Yeah. It was just all mandible claw attempts. It made The Fiend look rubbish, and that jackhammer was just awful. In the interviews after, I don't know if you've seen them, Goldberg was out of breath. Yeah, he was totally blown up he in that He wrestled match. for two, three, three minutes. minutes max. And he did three, you know, did two moves effectively. And I'm all for playing to people's strengths, packaging them in matches that don't show that sort of stuff. And they didn't massively expose it. But they're the top people in the company now. They're the champions. Let's see what you guys thought. Um, Tim Arndt, the Goldberg win didn't anger me at all. At this point, getting angry at WWE for favoring part-timers would be like getting angry at a dog for sniffing another dog's butt. It's just in their nature. Particularly when it comes to Saudi shows because it, those shows are being made for an audience of one. And it's just such a shame that this one's come on the road to WrestleMania and it's had such an impact on WrestleMania. Usually they're in May or July or well, early November, I guess that does have a knock-on effect to Survivor Series, but that hasn't, I guess Survivor Series is of a continuity of its own as well. Yeah. But this one has really derailed what was shaping up to be a very exciting mania transitional card. Hey, do you know who was super upset about it? Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin has canceled his plans to get a WrestleMania. The dork, I think is what uh, Goldberg mm. called him. Yeah, uh, I saw an excellent reply to this. He's like, your mum's only going to realise when she's on the plane. <laughs> oh yeah, did you see Booker T's response? Booker T got very, um, a bit sort of like, back against the wall being like, oh, you know, he's acting like a child. And he said, when he basically didn't know who Macaulay Culkin was, and someone had said he was a child star in the 90s. So his instant reaction was like, oh, he was in the Flintstones. So he just makes a load of Flintstones jokes. <laughs> Thinking like, yeah, he probably starred in the Flintstones movie. <laughs> I don't know enough about the Flintstones to, uh, to, to say he wasn't. He was not, no. Okay. It was, it was uh, John Goodman and uh, Rick Moranis. Tim Arndt. I should clarify, I'm not saying that Goldberg should have won, I just didn't care uh, when he did win. WWE have conditioned me to stop investing in people. These Saudi shows are the most damaging to the fan base that WWE do. It's like they're not content with it being morally complicated enough to watch these programs as it is. They want to double down on the most short-sighted, harmful booking decisions for their creative too. And, and uh, you, so there, there has been a correlation of a drop-off of network subscribers with these Saudi shows. And the Fiends. Uh, the Hell in a Cell booking last year, they saw, they saw a big drop off of viewers after that. I mean, we saw a dip in things. That's why I'm slightly, when The Fiend, I woke up this morning, I thought, God, The Fiend's lost again. But the last time that happened, we saw a dip. Mm -hmm.